Welcome back guys, we're back with another WordPress tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how you can make your blog a private blog. And we can do this easily by installing a plugin. Let's just go ahead to plugin and go ahead to add new. In the search bar, you can go ahead and search for my private site. And then we can go ahead to the plugin, install, and then activate once it's been installed. Once activated, we can come down to my private site and then to our site privacy. Click enable login privacy and then hit save privacy status. As we can see here, our site is private. You can then change in the settings what you'd like it to do for the landing page if they do log in because it will bring them up to the WP login page when they do search for your URL now. If they do log in, you can change what they do, return to the same URL, redirect to site home, or any of the other options here. You can also specify a URL that will go to the home page rather than the actual home page if you wish to. You can switch it so your home page is still visible, and if you do ever decide that you don't want it private anymore, simply uncheck the box and hit the save privacy status. And as you can see, we now have a site that is not private. Another simple option you have is to make actual private posts. So I've just filled in a few lines of this post and I want to make this private. Let's say for instance, I want to share some family pictures and I don't want everybody to see this post. Come on over to your right hand side and click on post. You can click on visibility and then you can click on private or password protected. Once you've clicked private there, we can go ahead and click update to the post and post the post. If you want to add a user to be able to view these private posts, simply come ahead to user on the left hand side and create them a profile right here including their email, their first, last name, website if it's applicable, and of course send them over their password. Make sure to switch their role to either editor or administrator to be able to read this, and then go ahead and add new user. For a written guide, check out the description below, and you can go check out our blog, and follow our easy written guide on how to do this. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.